Now let's integrate our toggle to do inside our app. Let's copy that and go into our app. Now we're interested in to do item. And more specifically, we want to uh, look at this update checkbox. Basically, in our render, have user icon up the checkbox itself and uh, the text and delete button. So up the checkbox is basically over here. Now we don't need this update anymore. And what we will need, we will need to wrap our checkbox with mutation. Let's copy that. And remember, it's a render prop, so it will have to have update to do and uh, as first argument and loading an error, which I won't use, but, uh, but you can use them for error handling. Now our update function will be here. We we basically want to do something following. We'll actually use our loading and we'll just return nothing when uh, we're in loading state. Otherwise, we will just update our to-do. Now, also what we need to do, we need to return our attachable opacity with, the, with everything inside. So what will, uh, and, and the final step, what we need to do, we obviously want to import mutation from React Apollo. And we also want to import JQL from GraphQL tag. We want to create this update to do mutation. And for that, we'll just copy our toggle to do and paste it here. We will we need to provide our update to do to mutation itself. And also, I want to provide my variables in a different uh, manner that I uh, did this previously. So instead of uh, passing them to update to do function, I can provide them as a prop. And uh, basically, it means that I just need to pass an ID, which I will get from item ID, and uh, is completed, which I will get from uh, by saying not is completed. Let's double check that our naming is fine. Yeah, the variable is, let's save that, reload. Now if we click on that, we'll see that our checkbox is updated. Now if we reload, it's still, it still is updated. 